Hi, we're here at the 2015 Conference of the Fire Brigade Union where the vital issue of crewing of appliances was debated today. The issue was raised by Staffordshire and we're joined by Rich Williams, the official who raised it. Rich, in some cases appliances are getting crewed by three. Is this seriously getting proposed in Staffordshire? Yes, the proposals in Staffordshire are under the budget constraints to reduce crewing on some stations to three riders, you know, which we find highly dangerous and uh, that's why we've raised it at a conference today, so we can challenge Chief Fire Officers about this. And Matt, when you responded, you were, you were visibly angry regarding this. I mean, what would you say to Chief Fire Officers? Because clearly, this is happening elsewhere. What would you say to Chief Fire Officers who are actually proposing this? Well, I think this is the value of conference, because what we were able to hear was people from different brigades getting up and expl explaining their experience of uh, cutting of crew crewing levels. And the thing is that, uh, for you know, we've been discussing this for... 30, 40 years, the crew, how many firefighters you should, should you have on a fire engine to do the job safely and effectively? And, uh, you know, our traditional approach is that there should be five firefighters on a, on a, on a pump. Uh, and this is all financially driven. So because of cuts, chief officers and fire authorities are forcing through either reducing the crew levels on pumps or introducing these new small fire units vans that they dreamed up or whatever to uh, replace fire engines and it is all about downgrading reducing standards reducing the, the safety of our members but also reducing the service that's provided to the public because we should be saying what does what do you need to fight the fire what do you need to comply with procedures properly and safely and that's how you deliver the best service so this is all about making cuts and we need to be uh, challenging it with evidence but also engaging with chief officers who are willing to work with us but also challenging them where they're not so it's a key issue i think for for all of us across the country uh, rich thanks very much indeed thanks.